Thank you, Governor. Clearly, this is a tragic day for this community and for this city. But as tragic as it is for the community and the city, it is an absolute horror for all of those people who were in those theaters and their families. Our hearts go out to them. We will always wish that no matter how much we do now that we had done more. Um, we need to thank everybody who responded as quickly as they did. The police department, fire department, the hospital staffs in the emergency rooms, everyone who addressed this situation deserves to be thanked. I want to thank also all of the jurisdictions in the metropolitan area that have contacted me this morning offering whatever help we need, whether it's from Denver or Arapahoe County or the state of Colorado or the United States government. We've taken a blow today, but we will get back on our feet and we will move ahead. If I can say anything to our citizens and particularly to those folks who have kids, no matter whether they're small or teenagers, it's talk to them, talk to them. They're going to feel this, and it's going to come out. And we have to do our duty as parents and as civic officials and as caregivers, whether it's Aurora Mental Health or any other organization. We've got to talk to our kids, let them know that this is an isolated instance. It's tragic. It's horrible but it's isolated, and we've got to talk about it. Um, it's a tough day. I'm joined back here by a number of the Aurora City Council members, state senators, state representatives, other members of the community. Uh, we will all come together. We'll survive this, but there's, there's no way around it. It's tough. You can't have that many people die and that many more people be injured in an absolutely senseless situation and not see it as anything but tough. With that, I'd like to um, introduce Police Chief Dan Oates. Chief.